Hi everybody. Hey, just wanted to uh, take a few moments and and tell everybody about how I'm using this program called Trello. Um, I've had a few people ask me about it, including uh, Ted Carl, and uh, he actually showed me a pretty cool program he's using. But here's some of the things that I really like about Trello. One thing is I I work for for a jeweler, as many of you know, but at the same time I have my own freelance company, and it gets really complicated trying to keep all your projects and and you know maintain everything you know whether it's by a paper system or even just basic to-do lists I'm a very visual person and it's not that I need all the details written down but what I need are visual cues that jog my memory that's really quick and effective and when I discovered this Trello uh, it set up a scenario that works really well for me and I just thought I would share that with you guys. So this is basically a, a, a copy of a, a review page that I have and these are like different sets of, of uh, boards that I have set up. And the way I do it is, so you know, it all depends what you want to do. You can actually create uh, a separate board for every project because the neat thing is we can invite guests in and include them in this. So if you have a customer and you want to interact with them and share on a continual basis like what's going on with the project, you can send them an email and they get invited in and they can see what's going on. So all your notes and everything that you apply, they're going to actually see and their responses to you, you're going to see as well and you'll get email notifications about that. So let's go ahead and look at this project I set up uh, for Ted so that he could see what this looks like so if I click on Ted's board here basically I put in these the a couple fake projects but across the top here I created these lists and inside these lists you create cards which are your projects and for example this particular one I created for him I put lists uh, the lists are proposals, CAD work, reviews, revisions, RP work, uh, bench, completion. Okay, so here I created this one and we've moved this along. Um, but you can, the cool thing about this is you can attach a picture as you're seeing here, um, as well as this project here has its own picture. This one up here and this one I didn't actually create a picture for, but you can add attachments. The only downfall is the attachments cannot be greater than 10 megabytes. So like I don't attach uh, my CAD files to this, but I do attach all the pictures that I show my clients and things and that I use to interact with them. So let's open one of these up. So let's open this one because it already has a bunch of information in here and Ted's been sort of conversing with me. And as you see, I invited him as a guest, and in here, he's been, you know, talking back and forth with me, and we've been actually creating these notes. And the cool part is that all of this data, um, you can either keep it online on the Trello website, or you can archive it there. Or the best part is, you can print all this stuff out, whether you actually physically print it, or what I actually do with it, is I save it as a PDF. So everything that's been recorded in here gets saved. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But basically, here I created this checklist. So if I wanted to add a checklist like this part right here, um, I would add one by clicking here. So I can just call this, uh, I don't know, we'll just call it Project Revisions. Oops. And I'll click Add. So now I've got another set of project or to-dos here. Um, up here you can see um, as you move along this timeline, it actually, let's say we complete the milling, then we complete the casting. And it's just a way to just real quickly have your own little uh, list of to-dos for the project. Down here is where I have actually attached these files. And you know this one here that Ted posted is actually a video he shared with me and um, it's close to the 10 megabytes but the 10, 10 megabytes is the cutoff um, here I use this as the cover picture so that it jogs my memory about the project and then here down here I can just start putting in comments and I could just say you know emailed uh, 
pictures to client. So once that's in there, it gets time stamped with a date, and um, and if I'm sharing this with the client, a note's going to go to them, letting them know that hey, you know, not only will they get the email, they're going to know that uh, I changed something within our our project here, so they can actually go and become part of it. Um, up here is where you would actually click on to attach a file, and the other cool part that I like is. I take pictures with my cell phone and you can attach your Google Drive account to this so um, I can either get the attachment directly from my Google Drive account which when I take a picture my uh, with my uh, Android phone everything's uploaded automatically to my Google Drive account um, or I can actually go to my computer and select the file and where I want it and you guys obviously know how to do all that stuff um, the other part I like about this is that this thing's completely mobile. So whether you have an Android uh, phone or an Apple phone, there's applications for both. The other thing that's nice is inside of Chrome extensions, there are several different extensions for Trello already built. But the cool thing is, is again, is how easy it is. It's quick. It's light. If I want to change this project and move it to a different category, I just grab it and and move it um, and then I can go back in here and add notes to it uh, as you can see you can add a, a due date which up here it's already marked at September 28th at 12 p.m. Um, you can make whatever you want um, but again the whole idea is is for me to have visual cues of my projects that I know what I have coming or what I'm working on at the moment what needs to go to casting what needs to go to um, you know milling but again I have these pictures that are just quick visual cues because I don't need something to remember every minute detail about what I'm doing um, like this one that we've been looking at here here customer wants an estimate to make up a similar ring size 7 using their uh, 2 carat round brilliant and we can change this but you can make this description whatever you want you can use it in any way that you want the, the the neat thing is is that you do not have to you know follow any kind of specific way this is exact this is just how I'm using this this software um, when you go down here because I told you I'd come back and show you how I archive things when you click on archive that what that does is it'll archive this on their system and it takes it out of it your board being viewable if I send it back um, then we're back but if you click on this more button down here you can print and what I do is when I'm finished with this project I go okay I want to print this but I don't actually print this out but if you notice everything inside that folder is all here so what I do is when I click print I change the destination and instead of sending it to my printer I save this as a PDF file okay PDF files are great because they're editable they they can be used in conjunction with legal documents and also IRS documents so now I have this permanent record and I save this file and I put it in the customers project file that we have archived on our home on our computers um, whether for my personal stuff I have a home system all my personal data and stuff I have saved as PDF files because I went paperless a number of years ago and uh, I scan all my documents and convert them to PDF files which I keep stored so I do the same thing for these projects so now I've got something that's searchable um, you can put this into a database program or do whatever you want with it um, so again that's the thing I like about this whole system is that it's it's simple it's very light it's not a heavy program it's easy to use I can just drag and drop this stuff around add what notes I want if I want to invite them in I go here and add a member and I'll just say I'm gonna add myself here and now that I've selected that it'll automatically generate now for me a uh, um, 
a notification that I've been added to this project and um, I don't have to do anything else so if it's a client that I want them to be involved in this process or I can create a separate board for just uh, retail clients or a separate board for wholesale clients the whole key is that it's all doable and it's all editable you can make it as detailed as you want as minimal as you want you can add as much information or as little information as you want and everything's just drag and drop and that's what I like very quick very fast very to get easy to get it entered and going and the cool part about it is that that there's also mobile apps for it and it doesn't matter what platform you're on so I can go to my my phone and I can either add or edit the app and again it gets updated if I have members added like up here it's showing this is Ted's little uh, his little icon and myself okay um, if whoever's on that member list will get notified immediately that something's changed something's been added or whatnot so again this is how I'm using it uh, hopefully this helps somebody if you have any questions you know feel free to give me a shout talk to you guys later